coming at any rate. Item 4, consideration and possible action to approve the Community Service Contract Review Committee recommendations for fiscal year 2019 and 2020. Are there any members of the Commission that would like to talk about any of these items individually as opposed to the group? Understanding that it's not our job to negotiate these contracts, what our job is is to accept the recommendations of the Contract Review Committee and from my perspective, that's merely an opening of the negotiation uh, for those contracts which the committee has recommended not be renewed in their present form. Are there any questions from the commission? Or not you understand? I must say I'm extremely impressed by the show of folks here and the amount of interest in the senior center and whatever other things we have today. I noticed Kate in your talk that did mention some of the things perhaps that she I think understands that uh, she could change. Uh, certainly, she's got a, quite a following here, and for a pretty good reason, I might add as well. Uh, I uh, we come across things like this when we're dealing with the city, we're dealing with the public's money, and we have certain procedures I think we follow, and also uh, we have certain requirements, or, or let's say things that the senior citizen should and could be doing. And I think most of all those Kate understands, and I think I, the, your actual presence here indicates a, a love for Kay. There's not much question about that, and I appreciate that. I feel the same way. But I think looking at this, we do have other things that we need to sort of settle. Uh, supposedly they've been worked on prior, but also I think it needs to be looked at again. So if they, if, whether we get a new contract or we renew the other contract, I think within those, uh, Kate could still be here, or something else could happen. But we do need to look at those things to, to do exactly, to fulfill our obligations to the public, as well as to the, uh, let's say, the, the, the love of you people that are here, which obviously they have a lot right here. But that's kind of how I feel about it, and uh, I guess we have two ways we can go. We can either have a contract uh, renewal, or we can say, no, we're going to change this, we're going to look at it further and then see if we can correct those things that are not being done to our satisfaction. Thank you. Any other discussion? Well, I might mention I, uh, one thing that uh, our acting city manager has talked about is to cover some of this in our budget discussions. And uh, it's obvious that uh, from the past when we had to uh, talk 23 people into retiring, that uh, we're not as financially suited as we were a couple of years ago or three years ago, and it took years and years and years to get to that position. I know you say a hundred thousand dollars is not much, but a hundred thousand dollars or sixteen thousand dollars here, sixteen thousand dollars there, doesn't make a, a big dip, big difference. Uh, so the commissioner and I have discussed the, uh, the possibility of uh, on these different contracts of renegotiating and trying to come up with solutions and uh, I've emailed the city manager back and forth and uh, hopefully this uh, uh, this can happen uh, there uh, about the, the grants and so forth. I'd hate to see those grants turned down even if we don't renew the contract because the senior citizen center will still be there. And how it's operated well. Okay. No. 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 Order in the chamber. But anyhow, that was uh, when we, uh, I'm on the uh, advisory uh, committee and Mr. The Mayor and I both are and there's uh, three other citizens that serve on there. <coughs> and uh, anyhow, this is just opens it up so that we can address different uh, different things and that's including in the BSI, whether it's the uh, SOD grants or whatever it is. And the commission will be working on the on the budget in the next uh, 30 days, 45 days, and until uh, June 30th. Of course, the <coughs> budget then is just an item that we work with and can change at any time. So there's a procedure that we have to go go through to, to uh, get to that point. But again, when you overspend your budget, then uh, that part of it was during this commission's time, and part of it was during my time for sure on the commission. Is if you have to do some things to get that back in order, and that's what uh, the city manager is trying to do. And I, but I, for one, appreciate his efforts, and uh, and uh, that's what we're actually all trying to do. So uh, that's uh, some of the reasons these.
contracts have come up like that. And I appreciate everyone coming out and I appreciate the support. But uh, still, there's some, you know, always some room for improvement in anything that we, we do. So uh, hopefully, we'll, uh, when it's all said and done, that'll be what happens here. And uh, again, appreciate you coming out. Thank you. Other comments or questions? Are we going to do these separately? Uh, I, I, moved it. I moved to pull A, 4A, 4B, and 4F.
that this contract needs further review, negotiation, whatever term you decide to apply to it, before we automatically renew. Well, may I make a statement? No, ma'am, you may not. It's a who. We'll come back to us for renewal. All contracts have to come through this committee before we go to and then what the city manager is suggesting is that this be reviewed in the context of our budget discussion among ourselves, and we may vote on these individually, or we may vote on them in the aggregate through that through that budget process. But there will be some additional scrutiny given to to this item. That doesn't mean that there won't be additional scrutiny applied to the other items. Again, remember, we're, we're not renewing these contracts. The, the Contract Review Committee does not have the authority to renew a contract. Only we have the authority to renew a contract. So even the ones that we're accepting their recommendations to be renewed are not without scrutiny as we go through our budget process. Is there, is there a motion to accept the recommendation of the community of the community service contract review committee as to item 4a so moved by commissioner seaborn so second 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 by commissioner rutherford uh, is there any further discussion call the question i think the emphasis emphasis is that uh, the commission and uh what that's to the city managers we're going to take a look at this in the budget procedure and that's why I, uh, I was one of them that wanted to separate these out so that we can take a look at these again in the budget procedure. That's correct. Okay. Thank you. Call yeah. question. Motion uh, One abstention and six eyes. Uh, item 4B, consider renewal of the contract with the senior citizens of Shawnee Inc. for fiscal year 2019-2020 recommendation to not renew the contract with senior citizens Inc. for, for fiscal year 2019-2020. Is there a further discussion as to this item? Is there a motion? Should we clarify what, at this point after we vote, for most of the people in the room, what's what will happen with the senior center tomorrow, next week, or the length of time that takes us to this work out a contract? Is it going to remain funded through the end of June 30? Yes. So we have until then, as a commission, to make a decision and to work out with them, their board, whether we continue with them, do something different. But at this point. It remains under contract till June 30th in the function, and we will have another opportunity or multiple opportunities to, to, to try to figure out. Technically, that, technically that's true. From a practical standpoint, I think it, I think it's not prudent on our part to think we're up against the June 30th deadline. I think there's, this is part and parcel of discussions that we need to have on an ongoing basis, both within the context of the, of the budget analysis and the budget work that we're going to do, and outside of that context. If there's something that they're doing down there that, that our treasurer has problems with in the way they're handling pay cash, for instance, and I think those discussions need to be had, and I think they need to be had way sooner than any discussions that we might have in terms of, of contract renewal. So, I, yes, June 30th is, is a magic date, but, but I certainly wouldn't have any intention of wouldn't want this commission to, to run right up against that deadline as a drop dead date. That's not fair to, to any of the employees or or even city staff for that matter in terms of uh, any increase in responsibilities that they might have. Is there a motion as to item 4B? Chair moves that we accept the recommendation of the contract review committee. Is there a second? Okay. Motion. Is there a second? Is that a second? Second by Commissioner Seaborn. Is there any further discussion? This this definitely is not a I know this this discussion has been painted as a 
you know, if we if we accept this today, that we're shutting down the senior center, and that is that is not. I think anybody that thinks that sure has not been listening to what I've said. And so that's not the question. That's the, what we're trying to do is get this off the high center. We can take no action uh, on this item, and, uh, and it will be as though the, the contract review committee recommendation is accepted because the contract, as it's specifically written at this point, runs through June 30th. It will expire of its own terms if we take no action. Again, I think it's incumbent upon us to begin to have some discussions among ourselves, and that is the underlying reason for my recommendation to accept the recommendation of the review committee. It's just a matter of open negotiations, which I think we need to have. Uh, is there any further discussion? We will have to vote in the future, too. Yeah. We will have to vote yes. in the future, absolutely. <coughs> Call continue question. to extend, renegotiate, whatever options we are. But in the meantime, it's still going to operate. I have some questions that I kind of like would have answered. Um, so if we do uh, cancel or not accept the contract in renewal, you have my assurance that it's because I want to get the answers to the questions I have and not because I'm looking to change the staff or the people that are there right now. I think there will be plenty of time to add context to this discussion as we move forward. Call a question. Motion carries with six ayes and one nay. Item 4E, consideration renewal contract with safe events for families for fiscal year 2019 2020. Recommendation is to renew the contract and take events for families fiscal year 2019 2020 to reimburse expenses for events up to $63,000. Contract review is going to be the recommendation to be approved. Contract review committees are second. Second by Commissioner Rumsford. Any further discussion? Item 4F, consider renewal of contract with Visit County Inc. for 2019 2020 recommendation to not review the contract with Visit County Inc. for the fiscal year 2019 2020. Is there any discussion on this item? I had questions on this item as well as others that I think have been gone over, but I think it's worth going over again that we're not saying. This entity is going to cease this or, or hey, we're, we're saying we're going to look at this contract with our budget and see the best way as we move forward. It's not going to, we're not necessarily saying it's going to stop because we're not renewing the contract. Same as one we just vote. I think that's worth it's worth saying that again. I know you've said it several times, but it's a Exactly. Well, they have city funds uh, that are, uh, they've been given that are uh, in reserve so they can start on just operate for the end of the year, they could operate uh, next year if they need to. And I understand why they need to take, keep reserve because if something happened, a tornado or something came through and wiped out all the hotels, then they're, they're the peace, right? You know what I'm Yeah. 